Hans. He began a very selfish little brat, really, stealing from his father, gambling, drinking as a youth. A friend of his on one Saturday evening took him to a home and they began reading to his surprise from the Bible. A verse he must have heard before, but this night it impacted him like nothing else had. It was those amazing words that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believed in him wouldn't perish but have a lasting life. Those words went really deep into George's life that night and completely changed him. It was like as if he was starting a new life, like as if somehow he had a bath inside, the past had been forgiven, and from now on it's no longer that selfish way of living, but wanting to somehow live for others and to give his life for that. He came to England, to Bristol, there was a great cholera epidemic at the time, lots of orphaned children on the street. Before long, he opened his home to them, had a house full of them, then prayed that God would provide for him to build an orphanage, a new one. And so it happened. And another one, another one, eventually 2,000 orphans. And every day, seeing God provide in miraculous ways in answer to prayer. By the time George Muller was 70 years of age, he cared for thousands of orphans. And then he started his journeys around the world to tell the story. Do you know what now? Yep, all these... Years later, still telling the story. Isn't it amazing?